For the sake of those depending on you, don't give up. According to scripture, the first sign that a transaction has been complete from heaven to heaven is peace. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Everything you get minus God will kill you. No matter how important it is to you, if you have to drop God to get it, it's only a matter of time. The biggest error in the prophetic is lack of spiritual growth to contend for accurate interpretation. The problem with the prophetic or visionary encounters usually, three of us can see the same thing in the spirit, but it does not mean the same for all three of us. Are we together? Now, that's the problem I have with books that say, if you see a chain, it means oppression. What if it's a chain watch that I saw? What if it's a, a necklace to mean an ornament of royalty? You can't just say, I saw a chain. It means I'm under attack. I, I remember a lady years ago who was pressing into God. And when she got to that dimension, she, she, a, another lady had a dream about her and saw her naked and came and met her and started lambasting her and said, you are walking in immorality. What kind of nonsense life is this? You are giving us an impression like you are serious with God. Now your secret has been revealed. And the lady was depressed and she came and met me that that nakedness was a message in the spirit that she was becoming intimate with the spirit but it was wrongly interpreted three of us can see a finger in the spirit for one it means warning stop what you are doing for another man, one it means direction come up here are we together for another it means i am blessing the works of your hands we all saw the same thing so it is wrong remember in the interpretation of the dream of 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 joseph and the wine presser and baker all of them saw three three things three basket three this he interpreted for the first one and he was happy then the other one said me too i have my own he said in three days they will hang you and this is established and they hung him after three days are we together so stop going around with predefined prophetic interpretations you only make certain prophetic interpretations predefined if the character of their operation has been established in the world. For instance, anywhere you see a dove is a representation of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Anywhere. It's a spiritual symbol that the Spirit of God has associated himself with. Except if you see a dove and you see it oscillating, that's, a, that's deception, for instance. Because according to the scriptures, the enemy can parade himself as an angel of light. Are we together now? So it is true that there are certain default symbols that help us communicate with visionary encounters. But not just that you see, you can see a woman in the spirit. You can see yourself moving with a woman. And you may think that God is punishing you from lo or lost. A woman in the spirit is a gate. That woman you are seeing could be that you are entering a new season. Are you seeing now? But because you do not sustain that spiritual intelligence, you go around casting something you should be prophesying to come. And, and all of that. So I think um, for the gentleman, I think I've been able to help him. I, I hope that I got his question correctly. If I didn't, I'm, I'm so sorry. Praise God. Yes, my Praise God. Permit me to say this that first. That is an honor to finally meeting you after listening to your message for a very long time. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm very Thank happy you. I'm here tonight. You're My welcome. question is to Ba Wash It Go. The first question is what do you do as a person when you're struggling with spiritual good? Today you are hope, tomorrow you're Spiritual you growth. Uh, does Watch. it mean that um, it's like a graph that you'll be going zigzag, zigzag till you get to that final slope? Uh, or okay. is it that you question just talk, two. the second question is you're talking about dream and vision in my lodge we had a case where someone said he had a dream blah 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 and it's really caused a big advocate in my lodge look at the congregation okay it's, it's really caused a big advocate in my lodge i'm asking the question that he had a dream about the lodge or something about a sister that the sister came to seduce him blah 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 and everybody was now calling the sister a witch that as does it mean that all dreams comes from god Okay. When we see dreams, does it mean that everything we see, it is coming from God? Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you, my dear. Um, her first question was, sometimes they should not go immediately so that they can remind me in case I've lost, um, 
I'm interpreting them with my spirit, so my mind is hardly here. Um, her first question was what? Up, up and down. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, please. What does the Bible say? The path of the just is like a shining light that does what? Shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Now, there is a difference between spiritual fatigue and backsliding. I think I've, I've, cleared, I've cleared that. All right, for as long as you are wearing this body, the limitations of carrying up mortality, right? The concept of immortality is a concept that is accessible, but immortality is not an impartation. Immortality is the resultant effect of accessing light from the spirit. Because the Bible says, as we behold him, we are changed. Now, the problem usually is that our lifetime and our level of regeneration is so slow that our lifetime will not be able to help us change that fast that's why we die are we together now but it is possible that a man can contend for that dimension enoch did it elijah did it so we know that it's possible to live bodily although in a glorified form out of this earth moses didn't do it um and all of that but at least we have two witnesses two evidences in the bible that they were able to access that so when you find yourself see and, and this is her question is very instrumental to your spiritual health if you are sick and you don't know how many of you have seen people in the village who are sick they don't even know to them they are healthy you just test them and say mr man you have malaria plus plus and yet the person is playing football you not now tell the person go to the hospital that's how many people are spiritually and for me your spiritual life is tested based on your passion for god there are certain things that start happening in your life that you know there is danger number one your prayer life your when your prayer life is is no diving don't ever pretend that is a dimension of growth you are backsliding immediately once your prayer life is going down don't let satan fool you and say you are just in a season where uh, god doesn't want you to say anything or this and that and that be very careful because it could be deception to destroy you your spiritual life number two your passion for the word number three your passion for the house of God number four I want to call it your your sense of morality is important if all of a sudden I sit down and I find out that I start lusting after you call me apostle call me whatever I'm lusting after you I came for koinonia I saw you Abel is preaching Cain is there disturbing his mind what do you think I'll do? It will be stupid for me to wear suit again and come back. I'll use the week to flog out that element of the flesh that is growing. Many of us ignore those promptings until it grows to a point where it backfires, obviously. That's when we start crashing in. The moment, see, the Bible says, let sin have no place. Don't give the devil a foothold. The moment you find out that there is a place, there, is, there are certain things you are bending on your values. You don't pray for three days or four days. You feel all right. Very, very all right. You carry your Bible and there is no zeal to read. Sometimes it could be in the presence of God, you'll be able to find out whether it's spiritual fatigue or it is backsliding. Are we together? But ultimately, the difference between spiritual fatigue and backsliding is that under spiritual fatigue, your passion is still there. It's just the zeal and the strength to press through that is not there. But on that backsliding, your zeal and your passion dies. Are, are we together now? For the our brother that saw a vision that a lady is seducing him, um, that's that's wrong. You see, this, this is the problem we have when we live in Christian communities because people wake up with all kinds of things. I spoke to you about interpretation. This brother may be a sincere person. Maybe he's here. We are not creating fight. Are, are we together? You don't know whether he followed you. Koinonia. you said it's in your lodge now the point is this it is wrong you see prophecy and in the realm of and the realm of the spirit also depends on your mental renewal for correct interpretation are we together i can guarantee you that this brother's spiritual paradigm fundamentally is faulty for him to see an innocent lady and call her a witch to say is he the only person in the lodge 
you'll be surprised it's not even maybe the most handsome or something so um it's, it's a wrong paradigm now you point do you know another thing it is possible that i can go to bed and see shalhoma chasing me maybe with a stick in a tree are we together now and all of a sudden i wake up and i say i saw shalhoma chasing me and it's welfare that cooks for me i put two and two together and i say my life is under i'm in danger i mean and then i now dissolve koinonia welfare because they are trying to destroy apostle joshua selman some of you you have that paradigm now it can happen a possibility exists that such kinds of things happen i mean in the house of god there are all kinds of things but then i'm saying that your interpretation primarily should not be that because he saw a lady if he does not understand seek counsel there are there are spiritual puzzles that we put together you must let scripture interpret your encounters are we together now i mean in the bible women seduce men what was the progression of the seduction samson was seduced are we together who again was seduced in the bible huh job was not seduced who? joseph was seduced some of you are saying job look at how your poor but please how about this is koinonia don't we are bible people uh, job was never seduced the only woman with him was his wife please don't go and say that anywhere it's very bad uh, are we together now my dear so that 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 teaching even if it was true this is what i would have done if i had a dream and you pursue me or you are trying to sleep with me or something in a dream right even if it was your face it's wrong to get up and call you a witch do you know because you don't know what spiritual challenges she's facing you now get up and you now call her a witch three situations would help to interpret that number one it could be that there is a spiritual operation around your life and your family that births seduction it can be true are we together that you as a person you are not bad but it's possible that you are being influenced by the spirit of lust or because of the background you are coming from and so it will happen in the similitude of your face disturbing that person are we together now and so you will feel bad number two it can be the spirit of confusion the devil masquerading to now cause confusion are we together so he will now use your face just like you saw your father quarreling you you saw your mother caught beating you you just got up and said your mother is a witch anybody whether my father my mother I'm, the woman is innocent you find out that we keep calling people witches and wizards who have no business with witchcraft however 80 percent of them are being influenced by spirits that operate in the character of what they were accused of you see that so um whoever he called a witch i can guarantee you is not a witch please she left her father's house to also come and do nyc she's not a witch she may not be spiritually strong and all of that but she's not a witch it may be wrong so go and comfort her the brother what he saw when you have encounters you are not guaranteed to have interpretation for them but one thing you can do is blast in tongues sufficiently until your spirit man gives you a note of peace at that point you know that whatever is the issue whether calling it forth or driving it away it has been settled thank you for visiting our channel i believe you have been blessed by that message don't forget to subscribe and also share this video with all your friends god bless you Thank you.